Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and uh, today is Saturday, February 4th. We have a full moon coming up uh, tomorrow, Sunday, February 5th, so I thought it would be fun to do a little full moon video. So I'm going to pick a card from each of these piles. This is uh, Major Arcana's tarot, and uh, let's see what we got for this. And Thelma's getting curious. I think here she comes. Yay! Hi, Thelma! <laughs> All right. Let's see what card we have for this um, full moon in Leo. What are the energies that we want to be aware of? Or what is the message regarding this full moon? Thank you for helping, Thelma, my little assistant. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> She's all into this today. All right. Oh, there we go. So that is the High Priestess. Very nice. Um, let's see the Goddess Guidance cards. Let's see what the card is for this deck. All right, we got Compassion. And then... This beautiful deck, and then this beautiful deck. This one first. What is the energy of the full moon in Leo happening tomorrow, February 5th? What message do you want to convey to us? Your spirit? What energies? Be growing into, being coming up aware of. This one wanted to come out. It's a Leo card. How funny is that? <laughs> All right. And then please give us a card from this deck regarding the full moon and Leo happening on February 4th. Thelma just jumped out, jumped down. Not one card, please. Dear Spirit, one card for this woman. One card. This one. So pick the top one. Okay. So we have the high, high Priestess. We have Kuan Yin, Compassion. Let's go ahead and read that. Release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Beautiful message. Hi, Priestess. When she comes into play, she is all-knowing. She trusts her intuition. She understands that there is a bigger purpose in life, and she allows things to unfold. She is a divine feminine who um, embraces all that life has to offer and all that is not apparent to us she sees all aspects she sees spirit world she sees the material world she sees it all so she has this knowledge this inner knowing and she trusts that leo i will it's a fixed sign fire sign it deals with heart pride loyalty warmth enthusiasm creative self-expression uh, the gemstone is ruby Planetary ruler is the sun. So on the back side, it has some information. Oh, there's this beautiful picture. All right, and let's see what this card is. It is Neptune. Very interesting. So Neptune is the is um, the god of the under, of the of the sea. You know, he's like um, what's his name? There's Poseidon. There is also um, Aquaman. That's what I was thinking of, Aquaman. <laughs> All right. So um, cause I was looking at this trident that's there. Um, so God of the Sea. So when I see this Neptunian energy, this energy has to do a lot with fantasy as well. It because it's such a fluid energy, um, with it being water, 
and, and if you notice, this is fire. What happens when you throw water on a fire? It extinguishes it. So I'm feeling that what's happening right now with this compassion and this inner knowing card is that we really need to so so leo can also be, it, it was, it's it deals with courage and heart but it, it also does have uh, every sign every sign has a, a positive and a negative side so it, it could also mean ego so we have that free will energy type of thing so with this Neptune, I kind of feel like it wants to throw some water on the fire sometimes to get us back down to earth. Um, we are more compassionate when we go through difficult situations. I'm finding that even in my own world, um, my, my ego has been shown so many different ways of why I mean I've gone through experiences where I want this and I want that that's an ego response when we say I want because there is a higher purpose there is a, a divine higher calling for all of our lives all of our soul's purpose and when we want something or try to take it aggressively or try to do something, it's very possible we will get burned in that process. And the best way to put out that fire is to, or to, to heal that burn, is to go within, be a little bit more fluid. And this, sometimes we need to put out that fire so that we can truly understand what it is we're doing in our life where are we wanting or striving too hard to do something or where are we actually exerting our will to maybe hurt somebody else or to try to show somebody else up to try to be the better you know the better person even where are we trying to use our ego to say we're better than somebody else this is where this Neptunian energy is coming in, throwing some water on this fire to help it understand that we are all one. We are all in this together. We need to release any judgments about ourselves and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Look at this big, huge, full moon behind her. This big, it's, maybe it's not a moon, it's car, but it certainly looks like that to me. This full moon is showing us where maybe we've exerted our will or maybe we have done something outside of our own integrity to get so far to um, hurt another person to feel better about ourselves um, to try to you know take control over somebody else so that you feel better about yourself. Boy, this is um this is a really eye-opening, awakening type of energy. It's it's self-awareness. Where did we try to, you know, be in control of somebody else? So this there's there's such beautiful energy that comes from this Leo energy, but at what expense? Does it hurt somebody somebody else or another situation through in a relationship? And this Neptunian energy is coming in here to wipe away that ego, that fantasy, that aggressiveness, that part that says um, you're better than somebody else. Now, I'm going to just make this clear. This doesn't mean you have to be a, Ye a Leo. This is just the where the moon phase that we're in. So you don't, your, your sun sign or any of your rising sign, any of your moon sign doesn't mean you have to be a Leo. We all have somewhere in our natal chart. We all have an aspect of ourselves in the Leo house. 
in this Leo house. So each and every single one of us has this. It has this will, but it's how we use that will that is most important and how we can be most effective with it without hurting or at the expense of somebody else or something else. So just keep that in mind. I'm not directing this video at any particular person or Leo or someone in a sun sign of Leo. This is about an energy inside every single one of us. We all have this energy of, of the will and this Neptunian energy is coming in to kind of splash some water on it right now. It wants to create some smoke, some awareness, causing you to maybe even cough and breathe in some of the toxic energy that may have is being is being um, awakened right now or being um, enlightened, being brought aware, so that it can be fully extinguished, and then a new person, a new more loving, calming person. It, nothing, nobody isn't that already, but I think this moon just kind of helps us bring out a little bit more compassion in each and every single one of us, allowing that energy, that divine feminine energy to flow. All right, I hope this helps. Full moon Leo. I mean, it, it's it's there to help us all on our path. And um, it's got a lot of beautiful aspects. So let's let's embrace that beauty. Okay. Have an amazing day. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.